Welcome back. It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thanks again for joining us on our program. Our guest is Ted Liu. Ted, of course, is a member of the California State Senate. And so I want to talk to you about the California budget. Before we talk about some uh, predictions made by the controller, um, as you know, the California Supreme Court recently heard a challenge to redevelopment's elimination. And pundits are saying that it could be that, re that the Supreme Court rules in favor of cities and therefore the elimination of redevelopment goes away and that means that there will be another two billion dollar hole in the California state budget. Are you ready for that? Uh, it is certainly possible the court could make that decision but my read of what the court was doing in terms of their questions uh, seemed like they really? supported the state of California. You're a position. lawyer. I'm a lawyer. You're a better lawyer than me. <laughs> it, yeah. Well there's actually two uh, pieces of there are. legislation they're looking at. One is the elimination right. of redevelopment agencies. The other is the recreation of them. Right. The court seemed to maybe not so much like the recreation, but they seemed to be on board that the state had the power to simply eliminate them. Well, that would be a, a perfect storm for California because that means that they would be eliminated and the recreation, which required a ransom, let's say, right. to keep them open, cities have to spend send money to Sacramento, would be eliminated. So there would be... So you would you would have yeah. a a legislative vacuum you need to fill, but if but we would could, you? I mean, if they would just be eliminated, period. Correct. Which actually, uh, over the long term, actually helps the state of California because uh, we then don't have to subsidize the school money from which they were currently taking. Well, what do you for think? I mean, you you represented areas that have blight, and redevelopment has been seen as a tremendous blight killer. In some cases, it has. Uh, even the most ardent supporters of. RDAs will also say there's been abuses. Sure. So I uh, would have preferred a middle ground uh, where we eliminate, like, eliminate them and right. then recreate them uh, in a better way. Which um, you kind of did. Which we kind of, I would have, I think I would have had a stronger version of a law that gives them uh, even more uh, funding and authority. But you know, okay. we have to compromise. But I think the court will go along with their elimination. Mm, let's see what happens. We'll right. know in January, I believe. Uh, let's talk about the budget otherwise. Controller John Chung has come out with, I guess it's October estimates. When you combine October and September, September estimates, we know that we are coming in about a billion and a half dollars below projections from the June budget, and that means we will see trigger cuts, right? Uh, if <laughs> projections uh, by the Department of Finance uh, and the legislative analyst office agree uh, going forward that we have not hit those numbers, then yes, there will be trigger cuts. And that uh, So, so uh, it's not dependent on the controller's uh, projection, it's two different other agencies. But still, I mean, I got to think the controller is close. Correct, the numbers not look good at this yeah. point. Okay, so that means we're going to see, oh, another, I don't know, billion and a half dollars cut from the UC system and, and K through 12. So, so be s the first round of trigger cuts will be $600 million, uh, to UCs and CSUs, uh, plus IHSS will get cut as well. IHSS is? Uh, In-home uh, support okay. services. Let's talk about UC and CSU. Uh, last year, they each were cut $650 million. Now you're saying they're each going to get another cut of about uh, $250, $300 million. It's almost a billion dollars in a year. It's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, in fact, when I uh, was sworn in, I did my swearing in uh, at CSU Dominguez Hills. I'm a huge supporter of CSU. So what are system. we doing? I mean, California, we know, had the highest spike in UC and CSU tuitions throughout the entire country all against all public universities. So one thing we can do is raise revenue. Oh, well, good uh, luck the, on that. The way we <laughs> did the budget was not the way I right. would have preferred. I would have uh, liked to have revenue mm -hmm. raised. We're going to try again this year, but if we have a minority of legislators blocking mm -hmm. us from raising any sorts of revenue, then we have actually no choice except to make cuts. And the reason that they're in this trigger category mm -hmm. is because we made cuts in a lot of other places. I understand. It, Ted Lieu, thanks for joining us. State Senator Ted Lieu, I'm Brad Pomerantz. Back to HLN.